everybody, this is uh, Dave Lee of Hatcross Steampunk, and I am en route from where I live in Virginia up to Strasburg, Pennsylvania, to a, uh, I guess a train station museum or something. I'm uh, pretty excited though because I, it's because I get to be a part of a film that is entitled Secret Within the Sphere from Stormfront Entertainment, uh, the brainchild of Mr. David Noble. Um, I'll put a link down here where you can find out more information about it, but um, what I get to do is just a small role. I'm driving essentially 12 hours round trip to probably be about five seconds in the film, but hey, it looks really, really cool. All the footage I've seen looks very well done and, and uh, high quality, and uh, so I'm, I'm excited. I think it's going to be awesome. Um, but I get to wear my Warhammer suit this is my Warhammer Space Marine suit that I have modified slightly and we're going to try to cover up a little bit swap the helmet, different weapon taking, losing the um, jump pack for um, a more like boiler looking uh, steampunk backpack so that it'll fit more into a steampunk film than just be like a Warhammer suit. And uh, me and the awesome Brian Fadrash are going to be like security sentries or something going through a marketplace. But, uh, I just passed over the, I can't see it, something something hydroelectric plant. And I don't know about you, but I think it's pretty damn cool. A couple things that stood out that is you know, I'm not picking at it, just stood out as very different from where I live, is the, um, I assume Mennonite community is, is here because another lady was uh, barefoot pushing a lawnmower, but the lawnmower was nothing more than a cylindrical blade on two wheels that as she pushed it spun and cut the grass. And I thought, oh my God, I get on my lawnmower, my riding lawnmower, and I, I bitch about having to cut the grass with that and that's sitting on my lazy butt driving around and here she is pushing a manual uh, thing cutting a big old yard and god that's another thing you're not going to see where I live but pretty freaking cool I bet I bet um, Amish and Mormons uh, not Mormons Mennonites would probably get a kick out of steampunk Although Steampunk is very technology based, just old technology, so where would they would they look at Steampunk technology and go, that's way too futuristic. So I'm here, if you couldn't tell, but somebody shrunk the train to hell. It's gonna need to be like three times bigger than that. <laughs> All right, so I'm here, I got my, my movie access badge. We just filmed the video for uh, real quick for Key City Steampunk Festival in Frederick, Maryland, coming up in 18 days. And uh, now we're actually in the train museum. And this is freaking awesome. I, I am having like total Sheldon moments here. Look at this. So over here, we're gonna be filming our scenes down in the city, I don't know, town area. And uh, so now I gotta go get my Warhammer suit, bring it in and start getting ready. God, this is so freaking cool. I want a steampunk event in this building. Somebody needs to make that happen. We have the light crew setting up. And then the scene is here. <laughs> this is so freaking cool. This is where it's going to be. <laughs> so all in all, the uh, experience was awesome. I'm back home, and we were done. I guess we started roughly around 5, and ended up being done around 10.30. Uh, largely, in fact, to the point that I was like, I can't do this anymore. I'm done. <laughs> 
I don't know, I spent five and a half hours in the suit and uh, going through a lot of the movements of the film of, you know, pointing a gun at somebody that, of course, is super freaking heavy. Um, but it was awesome um, looking at the footage that the team has made so far. The cinematography is awesome and it's going to be a great film. So check out the links below and uh, I think I'm going to go back to sleep.